Students, volunteers, and some staff, as well as community members, gathered at a Hopkins Elementary School to watch one of the rarest natural wonders, the solar eclipse. For the first time in many years throughout the United States, our country got a look at a solar eclipse. In some parts of the country, onlookers got to view a total eclipse, while for most in New England, it was a almost total eclipse. Students participated in eclipse-related activities, and despite school not being in session yet, the student turnout was very good. We have over a hundred students. Um, these are students that were fourth and fifth graders last year. So class of 2024 and class of 2025 at Hopkinton High School are here today enjoying our eclipse viewing party. So we have a couple of very dedicated teachers. Um, Jen Jordan, who's a fifth grade teacher. Jill Kaufman, another fifth grade teacher. And Valerie Lachance, who's a high school teacher. As well as Stephanie Doty, who's our tech um, integration specialist. And they put this entire event together, um, complete with nail painting, with UV paint. Um, we've got solar photo paper, um, pinhole cameras. So students are doing all sorts of activities related to the solar eclipse and then coming out and we will be enjoying the eclipse with these safe glasses for viewing in a little bit. So we're getting close to the full that we will see here as you can see we're not getting the totality here but it's still a fun day. And uh, as the principal how exciting is it just to see the turnout here today? It's amazing. I mean it's a week before school is starting to see so many children excited. Um, studying about eclipses is actually fifth grade science curriculum and that's one of the reasons that we feel so lucky to have so many students here today and experiencing it in real life and then going back and talking about it as they study it in the school year. We are having a solar eclipse party today because this is the first time in a long time that we have coast to coast solar viewing options and so it's very exciting and um, we thought it would be great to share this experience with our science loving students because here at Hopkins we love science. Absolutely and I understand there's some activities going on. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about uh what the activities that you have happening today? Sure, so this is the pinhole camera table right here and basically what the kids are doing is they're creating a viewer that when they take it outside they can capture the image that the sun makes, it's light, onto a board and then we're having the kids play around with using multiple pinholes um, to see the patterns and the shapes and the intensity of the light that they're able to see on the board. Basically we sent out an email and we were we knew that we have a lot of students who love science and are passionate about science and we are thrilled with the turnout. It's far better than we expected and we're hoping that you know we'll be able to do it all over again in another six years or so. So we're making these bracelets that they change color when you go out into the sun. They're all different colors. You can sort of see some of mine even though when you come inside they uh, turn back to these color over here. But um from the UV light, they uh, when you go out in the sun, it doesn't matter what time it um, they change color. So, uh, what got you interested in uh, volunteering for today's event? Um, I don't know. I just liked. I thought the idea of the solar eclipse was really cool, and I liked uh, helping out with all the other kids who are excited about the solar eclipse as well. We're painting nails, and the nail polish starts clear, or it's clear inside, and then when you go outside, it turns pink. Yeah, it's activated by the sun. As you can see here, we take these little uh, these little pieces of paper, and uh, we have an assortment of things laid out here on the table. And you can take uh, any of these things and put it on the paper. Basically, and make then, like a cool design, interesting design. Mm -hmm. You can bring it out outside, and you uh, let it sit in the sun, and then the paper will absorb the sunlight. Like as you can see here, 
but the objects that you put on the paper, the shadow keeps the paper from absorbing that sunlight. So there will be like uh, leftover shadows into the paper. Uh, you just put it in water, and then this is what you get. This is your final project. After product, after right? dries. Yeah. Oh, well, very cool. And uh, how did you guys get involved with uh, volunteering for today's uh, solar eclipse day? Um, I was emailed by my chem teacher. Yeah, me who, too. Yeah, who was like saying mm -hmm. I want to do this, and I thought it was really cool. So our teachers organized this, so they asked uh, her, their students if they wanted to come help, and we're like, yeah, sure, that sounds great. Right now, you are going to witness a time lapse of the eclipse. HCAM's Mike Terosian had the HCAM camera pointing at the eclipse for over an hour. You are viewing all the footage significantly sped up. You may notice the camera move at times, and that is because while we were taking footage of the eclipse, dozens of attendees were taking a look through the viewfinder for the best available glimpse of the eclipse over Hopkinton. Here is a sped up version of what could be seen on Monday, August 21st throughout the Hopkinton area. <laughs> 